within the ranks of this weird Trumpian fiefdom, if you believe that your responsibility as a foreign service officer is to serve your country, is to promote U.S. interests and U.S. national security, where do you go? I think it's almost like a galaxy far, far away, right? The Obama years. I arrived in January 2009. The team on which a person like me, a political appointee who just swooped in, had to rely were all Foreign Service officers who served under George W. Bush. And, you know, initially there was an adjustment in fairness. It was, you know, we came in all hot to trot, like, didn't you read our memos? You know, didn't you read Obama's campaign platform? And they were like, whoa, Nellie, you know, let's just slow down. Let's look at, you know, have we, run, have we thought about the costs and the benefits? Was that frustrating? The, yeah, but, but, and, and, but I will say it's, it's also intentional. For the sake of our country and our people, there has to be continuity in American foreign policy. Right now, there's just a parade of these people from the quote unquote deep state who are going out there. Do you think for all the other men and women who are the civil servants, who are nameless, is this a, a moment where they feel ever more committed to what they're doing in government? Or are they scared? It's a fraught calculus. Um, to see the personal attacks on Ambassador Yovanovitch, I worked with her on a number of issues. This is not somebody who ever in a million years would have imagined herself with microphones in front of her, just trying to hold it together. She wasn't looking to be a martyr. She was trying to ensure that as ambassador, that her loyalty was to the Constitution of the United States. And so, I think there's a lot of exhilaration that finally we've reached this kind of tipping point where Ambassador McKinley, Ambassador Taylor, you know, all of these such experienced diplomats, they're saying what people in the ranks of the bureaucracy don't have the platform to say, but someone's saying it.